Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m to the power of 6 minus m cubed equals to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as in this form. Uh, so uh, here we have this is m to the power of 6 and we write it as m cubed and its whole square minus this is m cubed equals to 2. So you see here uh, our both of these terms will be converted into m cubed and now uh, here we just take uh, this m cubed equals to x. Okay, so when we take this m cubed equals to x, so this expression will be uh, written as in this form x square minus this is x and this whole equals to 2. And now uh, further uh, in the next step here we move this minus 2 in the left hand side and it is written as x square minus x minus 2 equals to 0. So now you see here this will become quadratic in uh, x variable so here we uh, break the middle term and we easily make the factors of this equation so here we need any two numbers whose product is minus 1 and whose sum uh, whose product is minus 2 and whose sum is minus 1 so uh, these numbers are minus 2x and plus x and minus 2 equals to 0 so here we just break the middle term of uh, this quadratic equation and we write in this form so now we take common x from these two terms and we write it as x into x minus 2 and here we take common plus 1 and we get x minus 2 equals to 0. So in the next step you see here we have x minus 2 be the common factor from both of these terms and it is written as the remaining terms is written as x plus 1 equals to 0. So here we have two cases the first case is we take x minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take x plus 1 equals to 0. So uh, here we find the value of x equals to 2 and in this case we get the value of x equals to minus 1. So now uh, you see in the start of the problem uh, here we just take our x is equals to m cubed and now we back substitute this value of x here. Okay, so uh, we have two cases. The first is we have m cubed equals to 2 and in this case we have uh, m cubed equals to minus 1. So now here we move this plus 2 in the left hand side and it is written as m cubed minus 2 equals to 0 and we call this is our equation number 1. And here we move this minus 1 in the left hand side and it is written as m cubed plus 1 equals to 0. And we call this is our equation number 2. And now we solve these two equations simultaneously and we easily get the values of m. So here first we focus on equation number 1. And in equation number 1 here we use the nice uh, cubic formula. And you know about this formula. If we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. Here we use this formula uh, in the equation number 1. So here first we uh, rewrite our equation number 1 in this form. So first is m cubed and now we write this 2 as uh, here we take the uh, cube and cube root on the same time. So we write it as 2 power 1 over 3 and whole power 3. So when we cancel these 3 and you get here 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now the time to apply the, this cubic formula on this term and here we have the value of a is m and the value of b is 2 to the power of 1 over 3. So when you use this formula here it is written as in this form a minus b. So a is m minus b is 2 to the power of 1 over 3 into a square. So a is m square plus a b. So a is m and b is 2 to the power of 1 over 3 and plus b square so b is over 2 to the power of 1 over 3 and its whole square and this whole equation equals to 0. 
and now in the next step here we again convert this equation into the two cases the first case is we take m minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 m and plus this is 2 to the power of 2 over 3 equals to 0. So uh, in the first case we easily get the value of m is equals to 2 to the power of 1 over 3 or in other words we write it as 2 into cube root of 3. So this is the first real root of the given equation and now we find other two roots from this quadratic equation so here we use the quadratic formula. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 2 to the power of 1 over 3 and c equals to uh, 2 to the power of 2 over 3. And our quadratic formula is written as in this form minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So here we substitute the values of a, b and c and we easily get the other two values of m. So we have the value b is 2 to the power of 1 over 3 and it is written as minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 plus minus square root of b square. So b is 2 to the power of 1 over 3 and when you take the square of this term you get here 2 to the power of 2 over 3 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 to the power of 2 over 3 and this whole equation is divided by 2 times of a and the value of a is equals to 1. And now uh, in the next step we have minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 plus minus so this will become here 2 to the power of 2 over 3 minus 4 times of 2 to the power of 2 over 3 it is written as minus 3 times of 2 to the power of uh, 2 over 3 and its whole square root and it is divided by 2. So uh, here uh, we just write this as minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 plus minus here we know that the square root of negative term becomes iota and we have uh, uh, here we just write it as 2 to the power of uh, 1 over 3 and its whole square. We write this 2 over 3 in this form and we take the square root. Similarly, we take the square root on 3 and we take the square root on minus 1 and it is divided by 2. Here we just separate the square root on all of these three terms and we write in this form. So we have our m is equals to minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 plus minus. So these two and square root are gone and we get 2 to the power of 1 over 3 into square root of 3 and iota and this is divided by 2. So uh, further uh, we just need to simplify more these terms and you can get a more simplified answer. Okay, But here uh, our question is uh, solution is too longer so I can just skip here. And now we move towards our uh, second equation. Uh, so our second equation is we write here m cubed plus 1 equals to 0. Here we write this 1 as 1 cubed and now we use the uh, second cubic formula here and it is written as a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square equals to 0. So here again we have two cases. The first case is we take m plus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square minus m plus 1 equals to 0. So here we get the value of m equals to minus 1 and here we need to find the other roots from this equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to plus 1. And uh, here we write the quadratic formula and it is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. And now here we substitute the values of a, b and c in this formula and we get the other two values of m. So we have the value of b is minus 1. This will become uh, plus 1 plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 1 square becomes plus 1 and 4 times of 1 becomes minus 4 divided by 2. So here we need some simplification and you easily get the value of m is 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2. So uh, finally we have the other two complex solutions of this equation are 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2. So finally we get our six solutions 
and uh, our six solutions uh, are written in this form m equals to 2 into square root of 3 this is the first solution and minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 plus minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 square root of 3 iota divided by 2 these are the two solutions and uh, m equals to minus 1 and 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2 so these are the total six solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos